Hi guys, Kevlar here. So there is a way to control your Lee & Lee Strim Plus version 2s in IQ. So this is a follow up to my latest video where I installed the version 2s and I couldn't get it to work via IQ. And that's because I was trying with the equipment you get with the Lee & Lee Strimmer Plus version 2. And I tried using the old method with the IQ adapter using the controller from the version 2s. Now I did already know this method because someone commented on my old Leon Lee version 1 video about how you can use the old controller for the version 2s and I forgot to mention that in my last video. So thanks very much to my subscriber that reminded me about this and I'll share how it's done. So with the version 2s you get the new controller which enables you to control your Leon Lee Streamer Plus version 2 using the new Leon Lee Connect 3 software. Now that's the one we couldn't get connected to IQ and it wouldn't pick it up. But the old controller from the Leon Lee version ones, you can use with the Leon Lee version two cables. So you can connect them to this controller, the old one, and then connect this to your Lighting Node Pro as we did with the version ones. Now I've done a full video when I did the version ones up there or there wherever it's gonna come up. So you can go and watch that for the full video, but I'm gonna go through it now anyway. Now, obviously it's not ideal because if you've just bought the version twos, then you won't have the version one controller. So you're gonna to have to go and buy one of these. So it's gonna be more expensive because you have to buy a Leon Lee version one controller plus the adapter. Whereas obviously with the version ones, you get the controller with it and all you had to buy extra was that little adapter. So here is the little adapter. I'll put a link in the description below of where I got this from. So what it is, it's a male ARGB connection to a Corsair LED connection. Right, so we'll connect these up to our Leon Lee version twos and we'll see if we can get them working in IQ. Right, okay, so same as before, we've got our two cables here from the Leon Lee cables. Okay, so we've got our GPU cable one here coming from the top. That's gonna to go in one of these and I can't remember which one. Oh, it tells us here VGA or motherboard. So that's gonna go in the top one there. And our motherboard cable will go in the other slot. Okay, and we need to give it the SATA power. So that goes in this end. Plug that into my SATA power from the power supply down here. Okay, so then we need our female ARGB connection. Plug that into there. However, quick note on that actually. So let's just take that out again. You see there that is like a three pin connection in here for this version one controller for the ARGB motherboard cable. I'll just plug that back in. Whereas if you look at the controller that comes with the version two, it's just a two pin slot. So the cables you get with the version two have a little two pin connection to go into the controller. Let's just show you the cable here. So here's the female cable from the version twos with a smaller little two pin connection. So if you are buying just the version one controller, so you don't have it from having version one cables, you wanna make sure you do get with it the motherboard cable. I mean, you should do, because if you're buying a the controller, they should give you all the accessories with it. But just, just a note, make sure, because you won't be able to use your motherboard cable from your version two box. Okay, then we have our adapter. So our adapter, is the male side. So that plugs into the female motherboard ARGB. So then now we've got the Corsair LED connection. So we plug it in to a Lighting Node Pro. So one of these, if you buy one of these boxes, the Lighting Node Pro, which comes with the LED strips, it has two slots, two LED slots. All your LED strips slot into one. So you've got a spare slot for your streamers. Okay, so hidden behind all this mess, I've got the Lighting Node Pro that I've got here for my LEDs and my streamers. So let's plug that in. There we go, that's plugged in. Okay, so we're all wired up. So to repeat that, you've got your version one controller, you've got your two Lee and Lee cables plugged in. Ah, and remember again, sorry, when you're buying the version one controller, Make sure you buy the right one depending on what GPU cable you've got. So if you've got the triple eight pin GPU cable, it's got a bigger connector than the double eight pin. So if you go and buy the controller that has the bigger connection for the triple one, you've only got the double eight pin, then it won't fit and vice versa. So make sure you buy the right controller. Okay, so there are your 
got your knee cables going in, you've got SATA power, then you've got your female motherboard ARGB connector connecting to the adapter that we buy on Amazon or eBay, which is a male motherboard ARGB connection to a Corsair LED connection. Plug that into your Lightning Node Pro and it should all work. So we'll turn it on and when it comes on, we need to press and hold this M1 button because that basically transfers the control from using this controller to the motherboard controlling, which in here, yes, we're not plugging it into the motherboard. We are plugging it into the Corsair Lighting Node Pro. Right, okay, let's turn it on. Okay, I'm already getting some lights here. I'm not sure if it's because I already use that controller and it's already set to be controlled by the motherboard connection, but we'll see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach around the back, I'm gonna start pressing the buttons and see if the lighting changes, see if it's being controlled by the controller itself. Okay, it's not, so it must be getting controlled already by my Corsair controller. So we'll open the Corsair software and see if I can change the settings in there. Right, okay, so you see we're in IQ. We'll go to our Lighting Node Pro. So just a reminder, when you first plug it in, so again, go to my first video if you want the full setup because this is where I was actually learning and doing it myself. So you'll see every step I took. Um, but yeah, go to Lighting Setup on your Lighting Node Pro. You've got the two channels. So what you wanna do, so mine's on channel two, you need to select the device. So obviously you don't have Lee and Lee here and you know you could have many different devices plugged in. So the thing to select is RGB LED strip. So basically we're pretending our Lee and Lee strimmers are LED strips. Okay, then it's gonna recognize those. Then let's go back home and change the lighting and see if it updates. So there you go. So now we can see it's all synced up and they are controlled by Corsair, matching the rest of my system. Okay, so if any of that was unclear, please do go back and watch my original video where I set up my Lee and Lee version ones, where I did that in a lot more detail, much longer video of me working out how to do that because I had some hiccups. I had some issues where plugging in the lighting node into a USB hub, it wasn't recognizing it. I needed to make sure I plugged that lighting node pro directly into my motherboard USB socket and things like that. So there's a bit more troubleshooting in that video. And that's also in the video where I tested and worked out exactly which device to select in IQ to get it to recognize. So yeah, if you can't get it to work, go and watch that one. As I say, I put a link near the start of the video here and I'll link it at the end. So yeah, I hope you found that useful. Please do give us a like and subscribe if not already done so, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.